Hello everyone and welcome to Unit 8 on the Virtual Island. Well, as you know, we've been to different parts of Engelhaven and this unit deals with arguing, agreeing, disagreeing, and in particular, debating, which is a, a wonderful exercise in learning how to express your ideas clearly. Now, we'll do this in stages, and if we look at the task information, we'll see that the first exercise, task one, takes place at the bus stop. Then we move to the coffee bean, which is um, an outside area uh, restaurant, and then another restaurant, Saffron. And then we move to Speaker's Square. The Speaker's Square is just uh, outside the library, which you're very familiar with. As usual, we have the songs of the week and the quiz, which I won't go over with you. But in particular, I want to show you uh, the debating. So let's, let me show you just where to go first of all. So the first place is the bus stop. So I'll turn myself around. And uh, we walk out of the park where Dr. Haha is. I can actually already see the bus stop here. Let's go forward here. Here's the bus stop. So, um, You come to the bus stop, and I think there are a few, and uh, the exercise is actually inside the bus stop. Now there is another bus stop here, and you can do it in either of the bus stops. Here it says um, task eight, uh, unit eight, task one. Okay, now once you've done this exercise, then you move down here, and we've got another bus stop here where you can also do the exercise, uh, this is so that uh, you don't have to wait very long. And the second exercise is in the area called the coffee bean, which is here. It's just outside the town hall, so you know where that is. So you've got all these different options of tables here to sit down on to do exercise two again so you can see and uh, then the next one is the saffron so this is for and against the next one is supporting arguments so it's this side here okay so once you've done all of those you can just quickly go or you can walk down to where the university is or the lab And uh, you're familiar with this area, but not with, with the square. In between the library, which is over here, there's an area called Speaker's Square. Now, when I go in, I just want to explain to you, because it can be very confusing. The areas are all marked out uh, with this yellow line here. I'll just go in and show it to you. See this yellow line here? This is called a voice border. We've spoken about it before. There are so many here that I just have to explain to you. If you're on this side, you can hear what's going on around the speaker's corner. If you're outside, you can't. You can only hear people in the outside area. Now, because many of you want to do this at the same time, there are about six different areas where you can do the same practice exercise. Now, we're going to need to practice debating a lot with one partner. And then you'll be able to, to do it in front of a teacher. But it takes a lot of time to practice because we have 20 different topics. Now, obviously, you don't have to do all of them, but if you can do as many as possible, the more you do, the better you'll get. So the two boards. Now, um, you choose the topic with your partner. Let's say the concept of marriage is out of date. And once you choose that topic, it would change on the notice board. So this one here has changed to the concept of marriage is out of date. Okay? Now, before you do anything, you need to sit down and write four reasons why you think that, the that marriage is out of date and four reasons why you disagree with what's written here. Why is that so important? Because 
In our game, you will not know if you're going to be for that the concept is out of date or against that the, the concept is not out of date until the game begins. Okay, so let's say I've written down my four points for and my four points against, and I click this area here. It doesn't matter. Ah, so this has decided to put me four. It could have decided start again to put me against. Oh, it's random. Okay. Now, obviously, the game can't begin. The timer won't work until I have a partner standing next to me. But meanwhile, I can show you what actually happens. Obviously, the person speaking for uh, begins. The timer starts. They have 30 seconds. But meanwhile, have a look at the debating phrases. We have many different categories. First of all, we have introducing a point. You've got, it seems quite clear. I'm sure I'm convinced certain that. And you use one of these to introduce a point. Then we can go on to the next one, which is called giving an opinion. The way I see it, if we are up to me, I strongly believe. These are all the terms that we've learned in this unit, very conveniently placed here, giving reasons. Many people think that, in actual fact. And as we know, you can have really good points. But if you don't know how to present them, you won't come across as having a higher level of English. And when you're tested, you won't do very well because you're not using these phrases to up your vocabulary. And it's not just grammar. It's the real use of English. It's common knowledge that, okay, that people, um, whatever, whatever that your points are, but you have your points ready made. You have to know what you want to say. And then you can just use these, point, these uh, the categories to see. I think I've got your point, now let me respond. Agreeing, maybe sometimes you want to agree. And the biggest category is we have two whole screens of disagreeing because there's so many ways, including I beg to differ, which is something we learnt a lot in the unit. And rephrasing, say something again, and then concluding. So we can come back, we've got all the phrases here. We can come back each time to here and choose the one you want. Part one, part two, choose concluding. Okay, this is how you go back to all the categories. Now, when you've practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced, then only then is the time to meet with the teacher on the times designated and with a partner do a debate or even debate with the teacher, whatever the teacher decides. So you can really practice uh, debating. And this is why we made the island give you loads and loads of, uh, of time to practice. So uh, don't forget you also have all the money machines to make money, extra activities in the library as well as the quiz and the, mu and the music. So I hope you enjoy this unit and spend a lot of time on it because the more time you spend practicing debating, the more you'll use these items, this, these expressions, and the better your English will become.